Mustafa Lava Good morning and welcome to Fresh Tester by everybody. Excuse me? Yep. Make sure you scan. Oh, oh see this. It's worldwide fresh this season. From the people, for the people. Let's go. Yeah. What's good, people? It's your boy Errol Anderson. Here we are in the most beautiful place in the country, Wellington, and here I am, the straight popping stars of this fresh porch. Hey guys, Jess Johns here. I'm in Lyle Bay in the boot of my car and I'm just doing some work for the week. Fresh from the people for the people. So let's check it out. Really greasy. I wheeze it and put some oil and use it for lotion on my hand. There's nothing wrong with some oil because some of y'all are dry. Don't feel the need to educate people on why your body is your choice. Exactly. It's not worth it. And just tell them to read a book, sweetie. Read a book, sweetie. Read a book. I've done some fight training, um, boxing. I've done a little bit of kickboxing. Um, that's way harder than doing stunts. <laughs> music teacher's house, getting ready, getting prepared to leave. Um, we're just going to get inside, get ready, get a few stuff done, send this bad boy out, but, and then we'll be on our way. What's happening today is probably one of the most biggest days of my life, and um, it's the most biggest stage that I've been on, and it's opening for LAV's Good Today, and it's their last show of the summer. So, um, yeah, it means the world to me. I'm excited, I'm trying to control it, but, um, yeah, hopefully we do it justice. Hi, <laughs> I am Miss Hannah. Yes. I am Salika's vocal tutor, was her vocal tutor at high school. And, um, yeah, we're on she our way. Amazing. I'm singing, yeah, I'm singing BBs. I think my whole body is covering the actual um Yes. Um, it's very comforting, I guess. Cause I I trust in her, like I'm so confident with her. So it's like if I have something wrong, she just has my back. And it's good to have those kind of people behind. I got your back. Yes. Miss O'Neill, my ex-music teacher from Papsito High School, um, rang in and said, I hate to break this through the phone, but um, do you have time? Jean Rivers from Stand Up Stand Out um, managed to hook me up with a opening gig for LAB's last summer show. And at this point, I was like, you're kidding, like, don't lie. And um, so, yeah, I screamed. I put down the phone, I screamed, and then I picked that up and I composed myself and I was like, I'm a badass, I'm gonna, comp I'm gonna reply, like, reply properly. And so, um, yeah, that's how it happened. And it's just, it's just been um, a whole ride and prep from there on. Oi, um, can your makeup artist come out to Mount Smile? Um, no, I'm traveling there now. I am so scared right now. Yeah? Yeah, I'm not even... You got this, you got... And you know what, we've I got... just want to sound good. I don't even care about the makeup artist anymore. But with the makeup, we've got stuff. We've got some stuff. Obviously, we don't have foundation. <laughs> but <laughs> we got other stuff. And Rutan might have foundation. I'm just trying to, like, organise a makeup artist to come. My makeup artist was supposed to come. I cannot make it anymore. And it's, like, it's, it's stressful, but it's all about that last-minute pre. Like, you know, that makes it worth it in the end. <laughs> Yeah, everything sounds amazing. Right now, I'm just gonna go get ready and look hot, so. <laughs> so, this beautiful custom-made outfit is made by Mackie. It is the only one of its kind in New Zealand. So, um, yeah, thank you, Mackie, so much for this outfit. I wanted something bright that would make me memorable, and I also wanted a bit of my culture on it, hence why the patterns. I want to leave something that everyone will go away saying, did you know, did you hear that girl in the orange dress? Um, I feel like when you have that mic, you have the magic in your hands. Um, you get to control what happens after that. And um, yeah, this, the power that comes from that is beyond words that come from here, yeah. Oh, 
Um, that's something that any little girl can dream of. <laughs> I wrote a letter to myself when I was 11 years old in hopes that when I turn um, 21, 10 years later, I would read it again and remind myself of why I started what I started. So I didn't wait, I couldn't wait until 21. I went through a rough patch, I think it was around 2018 when I wrote the song Canvas. I went through a rough patch and I went back to that letter and I read it and it just told myself to, to stay humble. Um, to know that you're doing this because you love what you do and that you, when you decided to do this, you chose to chuck away all the negatives that would come with it. You know, well, us musicians, we're very vulnerable because we put our hearts and our expressions and everything we feel onto paper and then we sing and we deliver it to the world. What I would say to my 11, 11 year old self or my young self would be, um, thank you. Thank you for writing that letter because um, that letter got me through one of the hardest times of my life, and so I'm really grateful for it, yeah. There's always going to be a troll, an audacious man, or a judgmental auntie that has something to say, but what's most important is that you just keep doing you. The Siva piece probably is the most anxious I've ever been ever in front of a camera. <laughs> Well, I'm Lance Leone, and you're watching Fresh. Jump! Talofa, you're watching Fresh. They are the protector of the old world. They guard our Nafa, and if you solely the VAR... Isa! Interfere with the will of the Tainisa. Se Anna Sau Oya Sauro Anna Anna Sau. Like, I guess this really taught me a lot about Tainisa because I had kind of heard here and there stories, but this was like a really good opportunity to dive into it. I liked the scripts. I felt really connected to it. I liked that there was um, traditional stories mixed in with modern day issues. Um, I really liked that and I loved the creatives behind it, so it made sense. I think it's gonna be really fascinating for young women, especially because I think that like being Polynesian is such a feminine experience. I guess I'm biased because I am a woman, but um, to see like, how that generationally or traditionally can link to us is quite fascinating. I think especially my generation and younger are more intrigued by their culture and history, and this is going to be like a wonderful experience for them to learn about it. The Siva piece probably is the most anxious I've ever been ever in front of a camera. <laughs> I, it's such a vulnerable thing to do, and also I grew up doing it and I knew my mum would see it so I was quite um, scared that it would be bad <laughs> but um, I'm also really thankful that she made me do it my sisters and I do it growing up because it did make that piece feel a bit more natural but for me like I just felt very vulnerable and embarrassed <laughs> doing it um, but I had so much support. I got to do this really intense fight sequence with Dom Araki who plays Tuna and um, Ash and her stunt partner Stephen came in and helped us. Um, and they just basically showed us the moves. And Dom, Dom is also really coordinated and easy to work with. And they just showed us within like 10 to 15 minutes, and we were able to do this dance because it's really just a dance, as violent as that can look. Um, you just have to make sure you step where you need to step and put your arm up where. You, and it, like sometimes it's like an inch of a difference that could make you lose your teeth. But I think they really like trusted us. Um, and um, the more we practiced it, the easier it got. But having Ash and Steven there just makes it so much easier. I've done some fight training. 
um, boxing, I've done a little bit of kickboxing. Um, that's way harder than doing stunts. <laughs> stunts is a walk in the park compared to training, but um, I'm so thankful for it because it, it just like teaches you fitness, how to throw a punch properly or a kick. So then when you are playing a character who's super able, you don't look like you're just going like, mm. you know, you don't want that. <laughs> you want it to look legit. So I'm really thankful for all that training that I did years and years ago. Each of the characters all had um, their strengths. <laughs> um, and actually some of them I felt quite similar. I think as an actress, I always wanted to differentiate each woman because I wanted people to see that I could play different characters. But I think the thing that was really beautiful about them was what really linked them. Like, you know, a lot of them had trauma and, um, or kind of still finding their femininity or womanhood and, but then all of them were like quite smart and clever and charming. And so once I found the similarities, it was easier to see who they were in their own worlds. That's what made it easier to differentiate them. But they were all great and challenging for me. <laughs>
thought it was fried rape. It's a honey cakey. It's kind of sexy. I think the person that made this don't know how to make fried bread, so they just make the fun cake, yeah. First impressions, I like it. It's really donutty. Very Mangadi Town Centre. Really greasy. Like, I could squeeze it and put some oil and use it for lotion on my hand. Um, nice, maybe just a bit too oily for my liking. Um, but the texture and the fluffiness inside here is magua nice. Outside of the oil that's like dripping, I could like put a face mask on. And my rating out of 10 for this would be a seven. Out of 10, I'll give this one 10 because I like the balance of everything. The taste, the texture, amazing. I'm going for a seven and a half. I decided that let's go for a home feeling. So I went for homemade jam that my mum made. And then we've got a little bit of cream on the side and I love peanut chocolate. So I thought well, a bit of sprinkle of that on top would just be mwah. Oh wow. Ooh. Looks pretty. Um, this looks very lavish. Um, she, this queen looks like she's from I don't know, Ponce then they? <laughs> I am um, very surprised because I thought fry bread was meant to be like this size. It looks good. Visually, it looks like something that you would find at the Papatoi night markets. Oh, darling, it's raw. <laughs> this ain't even cooked. <laughs> yeah, amazing job. Just maybe a bit bigger next time. <laughs> Girl! Yeah, see, I told you, she looks like she, she's from Honson Bay. She must not cook, she must have a chef, because if she cooked this herself, darling, this ain't cooked, boo. You can see I have finished the whole thing, so it is a 10 out of 10 for me. I unfortunately think this is an absolute fail. My score for this fry bread is a 2 out of 10. I will give this for dough a 2. Well, in front of me is my amazing fry bread that I practiced last night. It was my first time actually making fry bread, so I'm really happy with my results and it tasted really good. I think it's better than the others. Thank you. Oh. Well, first impressions, it's pretty big. It's got nice texture, it's like really fluffy. Makeup, sponge. It doesn't pull apart very easily. Like, oh my gosh. Props, can I get a chainsaw, please? <laughs> it tastes better than it looks. No, there's no special notes coming through. Just a lot of dough. Um, I thought it would have a bit of a crispiness to it. Um, but it doesn't have much of a crispiness to it because it's quite chewy. Um, hmm. I'd go for a four and a half. Six. Out of 10, I would give this a seven. Today I've got my beautiful fry bread here today. I've got two versions of toppings that go with it. One to the front is strawberry jam with butter and the other is um, with butter and yummy golden syrup. Ooh. Oh. I think it looks really cute. Um, I like that it looks like a pillow. It looks quite cushiony because it's risen really nicely. Looks good. Looks, this looks like something that I would eat. Okay, instantly it's nice to have a variety of colour on the plate. Oh wow, it's hollow inside. Yep, very sweet. Too sweet for my liking. 
Yeah, this is this is good. This queen's been cooking for a while. Yeah, a lot of syrup. Not quite good. If the other family is syrup, I like it. It's not too sweet uh, and not too dry and not too doughy. So it's almost kind of got the right balance happening. The syrup just ruined it a bit for me. I'm gonna go for an eight. Yeah, I feel like this has just uh, satisfied my palate. I'll give this one a five. I'm gonna give this fry bread a 10. I think it's really, it has a great amount of sweetness to it, um, even with the jam. time for today. Be sure to check in next week for some more freshness. I'd like to give a shout out to my little sister Emily Lucas for being so cute. Love you. You know what it is. Shout out to the Moldy Sidestep. Shout out to my cameraman Tumnity. And shout out to my Tim today is a red. Tune in next week, same time, same place. Keep it fresh. Let's go! It's worldwide fresh this season. Fresh from the people, for the people. They had a beautiful marriage, and then my dad went back to work that day. <laughs> She's becoming a role model for the way people should be approaching dance and learning dance and using dance. The balance between the two just looks beautiful. You're on fresh, monitor.